Hi, uh, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, our sustainability activity is about propagating succulents. And succulents are a variety of plant um, that basically just mean that they retain water. Uh, and so, inside of them, they usually look a little bit plump and they have a water or, water or sap within them. Um, and the reason this is, is because they grow regularly in dry, arid, temperate uh, climates. Uh, and so a lot of us grow them inside because they do really well inside uh, as long as you care for them well. And the thing that I like most about succulents is oftentimes it's really, really easy to propagate them, meaning that you can regrow the plant over and over again um, through an easy technique called cuttings. So I have a few different succulent varieties in front of me. Um, this is called the Silver Dollar Succulent. Um, this is a jade plant. Uh, this is a string of pearls, and this is called a bear paw succulent. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a few different types of propagation, and hopefully you can try this at home if you have succulents already. So um, the first type of propagation that you can use um, is simply uh, taking a leaf off of the bottom of a succulent. And so I've already done this here. Um, and basically you just simply snap it from the edge. And then what you're gonna want to do is set it on this paper towel um, and let it uh, callous over for about one to three days. Now, all of these are similar. You're going to cut them and you're going to let them callous for one to three days. And then we can plant them in soil. Uh, but not every plant you can do the leaf. The bear paw, you can do the leaf, but it's a little less um, reliable. It's far easy to take a pair of very, very sharp scissors and slice from the stem. And then again, let this callus over for one to three days. Same here with our string of pearls. Um, we're looking on a string of pearls for nodes, so you want to cut right above the leaf nodes. But on this, you want to make sure that you have at least four inches of plant to cut. And we have just about that here. And then on this, um, you want to make sure that there are at least three leaf nodes that are going to go into the dirt. And so you can actually pull off the pearls because this part is going to go into soil after the edge calluses and heals. And so once again, we're gonna put those and in. On the jade plant, I wanna make sure that I'm not cutting off a prominent stem, but an offshoot um, so that we're not damaging the plant by taking um, a part of it to propagate. Now, all of these you're going to callus, and then once they've callused, um, you're going to be able to plant them in the dirt. Um, so in front of me, um, I have another string of pearl that I've already let callus. And I like to use a chopstick to create the hole. And you're going to make sure that all three nodes go into the pot. Cover it very gently up with dirt. And you could actually put multiple cuttings in there if you want. And then the goal is to water it just a little bit. Um, so you don't want any pooling, but you do want the surface of the dirt to remain damp. Now, it takes about three weeks for succulents to grow their roots, specifically string of pearls. Um, and after three weeks, if we wanted to transplant this to a different container, like a pot, we could certainly do that as well. Um, the other thing that's kind of neat is with the jade plant and with the string of pearls, you can actually propagate them in water as well. So you can take a cutting and place it into a mason jar of water, which we've done several times on this channel before, and slowly but surely you will see those roots growing again. But I think the easiest way is again letting it callus and then planting it into nice potting soil, cactus soil, plant it in, and then putting it in a warm, sunny area, not one that's gonna get direct sunlight, um, but indirect sunlight for at least six hours a day and then keeping the top of that soil moist. So in about three weeks or so, we'll come back and we'll check out how we can transplant these into a pot. Um, so thanks for tuning in today. 
Hopefully you can replicate and propagate your succulents at home so that you have even more plants that bring you joy in this pandemic.